Hi, and welcome back to the Lavender Chair Crochet Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create a magic ring. A magic ring is a great way to start working in the round. Now, when starting a project with working in the round, some people like to chain four and join with a slip stitch to the first stitch made. Then they take their stitches and they just enter them inside that ring that is created by the chain stitches. With the magic ring, it gets rid of that little hole that is left from those chain stitches. And it gives it a better finished look. See, this is what it is when you do chain four with a slip stitch. And this is what it is when you do the magic ring. To get started with the magic ring, take the yarn of your choice. Give yourself a decent end of yarn. Now wrap it around your two fingers like so two times. So you should have two loops and then your working yarn right in front. Now just secure it like this with your fingers just so that you can, you know, have ease of access. Now you're going to take your hook, put it underneath those two loops that you wrapped around your fingers and pull that working yarn through. Now secure with your finger right underneath and you're going to chain as you normally would for whatever your pattern calls for. So if you're doing double crochet, you're going to chain three. And there you go. So then you're going to start to make your double crochets inside the round. So my pattern calls for nine double crochets. Once you have the amount of stitches called for in that first round, it should look something like this. Okay, and then you're going to take that tail end of your yarn and you're going to pull it tight. And then you're just going to join with a slip stitch like you would normally do into that first stitch that you had made. And there you go. That is how you work with a magic circle.